So let's look at, take a look at some of these roofs. What, as I mentioned earlier, what we're really looking for here is how do we have a, a solar roof that is better than a normal roof, um, that uh, looks better, uh, lasts longer, has better insulation, insulating effect, and where the cost of roof plus electricity is, is less than that of a normal roof. Now, this is, um, this is sort of like the integrated future. You've got a electric car, a power wall, and, solar, and a solar roof. And the, the key is that it's, it needs to be beautiful, affordable, and, inter, and seamlessly integrated. Um, and then if, if, if all those things are, are true, why would you go any other direction? So, yeah. Um, <laughs> so we're going to show you, this is the before shot of that house over there. So, so that's what it looked like before. Now that's um, all solar. Yeah. I think we've got some close-up shots that we can show. And if you look, if you look carefully, you can actually see the, the solar cells behind the glass. So this is a textured glass tile. Um, if you look carefully, you can see the solar, the solar cells. Yeah, you can see that. So we have a malfunction on the LED. <laughs> So, let's like take a look at the next house. All right, so the, that house is also solar, um, and that's a, a sort of a style of a, of a French slate, which is one of the hardest things to, to do. It's, it's considered one of the, the best roofs you can possibly do as a conventional roof. So we said, well, if, if can, can we make a French slate roof that's solar, that looks as good or, or better than a, than a conventional uh, French slate roof, and we're able to do that as well. Um, th that's done with hydrographic printing, so each tile is unique. So that's, it's, uh, the, the, the production process itself makes each tile especially unique, a sort of special snowflake tile. Um, the, the, uh, but the nice thing is that no two roofs will be the same. So it's not just cookie cutter. Uh, you, you can take any two roofs like that, and they will look different, because they are different. So. This is the so what the French slate hydrographic looks like. You can see that. And then uh, this, the third house is really transformative. Because um, believe it or not, that's what it looked like before. <laughs> so we, we changed the roof, and it was like, whoa, we put that roof on, we've got to change the house too. <laughs> so that, that, you know, that, that tile is, is more of a modern look. Um, And here you can really see, as the angle changes, that you can see the solar cells. Um, so um, here we, we, we put a, a film with microlubers on it so that as, as the angle changes, it goes from transparent to opaque. So uh, from the vantage point of the street or anywhere near the house, it looks completely opaque. But from the sun, it's, to, to the sun, it's transparent. And then um, probably the, the most surprising one is the, the Tuscan, Tuscan glass. So this is also solar panels, but we've put two versions of the, the, the Tuscan glass approach. Um, all of the dark tiles have solar panels. So we interleave a dark and light, and then the dark ones are the, the ones with solar panels. Okay. 
again, you can see that uh, the transparency changes quite a bit. So as you, fr from the sun's vantage point, which tends to be high angle, you can see the, the, solar, the solar cells. But as you change the angle to a shallow angle, uh, it reverts to um, a, a sort of an orangey color. So, so one of the other advantages of, of glass is that we can actually make it a lot, a lot tougher uh, and last a lot longer than a conventional roof. Uh, so we just, as a demonstration video, show you what happens if you drop a, drop a big weight on a conventional roof tile and one of our glass tiles. So... So, so the, the solar roof won't just, uh, it, it, we want it to look better, last longer, provide better insulation, and cost less, all things considered, than a conventional roof. Um, now, the, the, the solar is a, a, a huge market for uh, the current solar systems, because that if, you, if you're building a new house um, or you're redoing your roof, then this is the way to go. Um, but if, you're, uh, if you have a, a new roof, then you're obviously, you'd, you'd want to put solar panels on that roof. So there's, there's two very distinct markets. And there's about a four to five million uh, new roofs in the U.S. every year. Um, and I think 20 times that number worldwide. Um, so you can imagine over time, as people replace their roofs with solar roofs, that the whole neighborhood, would, would every, everyone would have solar. Like, why wouldn't... Why wouldn't you? Over time, every every house would would become a solar house, um, and it's it's a neighborhood where the aesthetics actually get better. So where you look around your your neighborhood, and that's what you want to have happen. Um, so I mean, the the key is really to make to make solar something desirable. Where if you install a solar roof on your house, um, you're really proud of it. You want you want to put it on the most prominent part of the house, you want to call your neighbors over and say, check out, check out the sweet roof. Um, <laughs> it's like not a phrase that you hear often. Um, but but, that, but that's, that's the key to it. People, people really care about their homes. They love their homes. Um, and, and they really want, they want them to be better. Um, and I think taking this approach, it, it can be. Uh, so that's, uh, that, that's, that's where we're headed. Um, and I hope you agree that's the future we want.